Hi, welcome to Taylor's Academy YouTube channel. If you think that uh, something is worth, worth just cl click the subscribe and click the bell icon. Then whatever I am uploading the videos at night only. So sometimes it takes two to three hours due to network issues. So some and I keep the uploading and I am going to sleep normally. So <coughs> now I am feeling to do every day at least one video that is my target because most of your people are sending me some personal messages and do something uh, i am not perfect but at least i am trying to do something on on behalf of your people uh, actually what my plan is to do today to discuss about the rupee depreciation is really sad day today for us because rupee rupee uh, depreciated up to 194 uh, if you consider the buying rate and selling rate it, it went about 201 like if you consider one major banks <coughs> actually this is not good at all uh, as an investor in the stock market actually we we always would see appreciated rupee but this is depreciating and this is beyond our control because you know why last 20 30 40 years this this was the, this trend was continuing so really this is a disaster for us and uh, and there is no stop at all as for the current scenario so what we can do in this situation so we have to diversify our asset base basically what i have done personally i have diversified my assets such as foreign currencies deposits and uh, i have invested other markets as usually i'm telling but you are still invested in sri lanka so now it's too late also and uh, there is no way also to exit uh, what i discuss here actually what happened to us why this situation arised especially <clears throat> number one you know that we have huge foreign currency debt that means we we have taken some loans from foreign countries and uh, worst thing is we haven't reviewed it because whatever the we took the loans we have to pay the interest and capital through us dollars only basically so we at the time of we are taking the loans that time what we have planned as a country or government whatever huh? what we have planned uh, to pay this back also in us dollars because that is their requirement and even capital or interest we have to pay back in us dollars so that time we have planned because we are investing in some projects no uh, when the repayment comes, imagine within 10 years we have a plan to repay. So when repayments comes, what we have planned to use some for uh, foreign currencies to pay back, like what we plan tourism income, uh, expertise income, like us, we are sending huge money around 8 billion US dollars and exports income uh and uh, basically some other sources like foreign direct investments such, such like that's our plan but unfortunately currently as per this disaster uh, and this economic condition so no the, our source of dollar resources now all stop like expertise like us most of people they cannot send money so we will not get the us dollars uh, exports totally stops so we will not get us dollars foreign direct investments total not there so we will not get us dollars so what will happen so we are a huge shortage of us dollars but we have to use some us dollars for our day-to-day -day activities one for we are importing oil for that we, we we should want us dollars and essential goods such like medicines we are importing so for that also we required us dollars so currently that's why i'm telling there's a mismatch 
when we are taking the loans we never thought that we will not able to pay this because basically our government earns rupees only so if we earn rupee and we have to pay the repay the loan by us dollar so we have to convert these rupees to us dollars not only pay the loan payments but also of course payment day to day our necessary things we we we, we require us dollars but currently we don't have it so in that situation what we can do now what central bank has done they have done some helicopter drops even us president also came this helicopter drops means something something little complicated but uh, time to time they will uh, they have some foreign currencies holdings no some reserves they will they will sometimes they will encash these reserves and utilize these reserves and there there is a wide objective of this but uh, suppose government has foreign currencies and um, uh, once they are utilizing it they convert to rupees so there is a gain also no sometimes so these gains can be from to economy also time to time so there are so many uh, things are there but our concern is as a csc investor how we will manage this situation just imagine in case of currency depreciation time even any economy what will be the scenarios again rupiah pahata yana avasthawa kadi yam kisi rataka then pakistan uh, india e wage ratawal then pakistan e gatta sahana wegen rupiah depreciate vela thiyena india wechchara wege ekin nahe namuth me rupiah depreciate wima thula attadama economy ekata ඇතිවෙලා තියෙන challenges මොනවද අභියෝග අපි ඒ ගැනයි සාකච්ඡා කරන්න ඕන ඉතින් ඇත්තටම කිව්වොත් number 1 what will happen inflation will go high you know why basically countries like us we depend on most of the imports government has some several, several type of accounts government has one is the current account one is the finance account like that so current account what current account does okay what is the current account deficit actually if any economy if their imports are less okay just just try to understand if any economy if their imports are more we can say like that if their imports are more but exports are less so there is a current account deficit so like countries like us now what happen rupee continuously falling like depreciating we are importing day to day things like oil or whatever sometimes imports remain same and exports are less and this deficit is going to wide so that's the issue we are facing now so in this scenario what will happen we want more dollars because we because day to day we don't have dollars to for pay for our day to day things so in that case what will happen there is a huge risk that foreigners will expect and even institutional investor like foreign direct investors what they think that it the country will get uh, more rupee depreciation will happen day by day so is a threat for their funds what they have invested i am telling you one example suppose there is an investor uh, we can say name is as an example name is john john decided to invest in csc in 2015 1 million us dollars okay 1 million us dollars just imagine that time uh, 1 us dollar equal to 150 okay so he invested 150 into 1 million as yes, sri lankan rupee 150 million sri lankan rupees because he cannot he can bring the money us dollars and it has to be converted to sri lankan rupees so now he has 150 million sri lankan rupees correct so by using this 150 million sri lankan rupees he buy fundamentally good shares okay he buy just imagine based on the current situation market situation and last uh, several years we didn't get much uh, positive impact by investing in csc just imagine if 
if his investment like the shares he bought if it is remain same now what will happen now he wants to take his money back but now he has to take 1 rupee 194 if he wants to take 1 dollar back he has to get 194 rupees but he bring at the time of he brings his 150 equal to 1 dollar now he wants to take cash back 194 rupees just imagine if the shares what he invested remain same what will happen from 1 dollar he will lose how much 44 44 rupees so that's the reason last three four months this foreign uh, direct investments they didn't come much and those who invested like foreign funds and uh, equity funds and foreigners they sold and they exit because they expect that we have a huge foreign debt in october we have to pay 1 billion us dollars and between we have we our exports are trouble and uh, because we had draw, drought and uh, whatever and uh, so many scenarios was there and uh, our inflation rate was very high so in that case what foreigners expect that maybe our rupee will fall more because uh, international fixed ratings also they downgraded us more so that's the reason i sold my 70 percent around in stocks after the election up to january i sold and i invested some in the foreign markets even some say as uh, gaining some already loss also but as a currency depreciation scenario now we uh, within two months how much around five to ten percent we got the depreciation benefit as expert is we are working outside of sri lanka so this is the scenario so in that situation how to manage as an investor in C csc investor but in this scenario one thing can clear what is that what is that if we export any item if your company is exporting any item to any other economy you will get same dollar you will get but you will get more rupees because you are operating in sri lanka and you are selling to overseas market but currently that scenario will not work because of the whole world is in like another crisis because of this scenario but basically export will cheaper to foreigners like if, if italy is uh, uh, importing our things okay for italy it's imports no importing our things it will cheap to them but not currency scenario but ba basically i'm telling you huh? uh but same negative effect to the like sri lanka like suppose garments factories sometimes they are doing the exports as a finished product okay and imports raw material also so sometimes they are not getting benefits also you have to think about that also so this imports and exports combination you have to understand based on that you have to invest so that is that is the thing i have done i have invested in uh, separate the, the different different countries even and different different industries even i have invested and not only sales not only csc but i won't but you are too late for that maybe maybe in future you can do whatever their opportunities are there so in that situation we have to manage go for more exports export oriented companies otherwise you have to manage the companies existing within the country within the sri lanka and they don't use uh, they don't do exports also they don't do imports also but even that inflation effect is there because ba basically once inflation scenario is there bank interest rate will go high even companies getting some funds from the bank or whatever ods or whatever that time they have their interest expense will be huge and the other thing is the disposable income like people buying power it will affect uh, like as an example what's the disposable income it's like you are earning is 100 rupees and 
for your day to day whatever you essential things you spend 80 rupees and 20 rupees in hand so that 20 rupees uh, you can plan for the for make a savings account or may do a fixed deposit so invest in, in stock market so that 20 rupees is disposable income countries like us unfortunately now there is no disposable income because we who earn 100 sometimes you are spending 110 so this is the thing uh, now it's happening but now don't worry there is another scenario also actually you know why in rupee depreciation scenario sometimes assets assets can be revalue also you know why assets means plant machine and equipments are there basically i accept that plant machine and equipments is subject to depreciation even that we can revalue these things buildings we can revalue sometimes vehicles which country vehicle is appreciating but sri lanka is appreciating no basically so in that case asset value can increase okay money supply can increase so in that case people have more money sometimes in this situation so like lands and property prices can increase also sometimes huh? so net assets value will be there but investing basically based on the net asset value is useless so what my suggestion in this situation how to manage actually gold is one good investment but now it's too late to catch the gold because its price is high because normally internationally gold prices are determined by us dollars so if the us dollar is gaining so your value will increase lands also not bad at all but people are telling in, in depreciation time because rupee value is less no but property value can increase so sales sales means properties assets assets and liabilities whatever but basically assets no so assets value can be increased in that case sales are not bad but my point is like this now we our rupee is depreciating depreciating in somehow at the one particular point it will be stabilized suppose at the rate of 210 that means one usd equal to 210 it can be so in the in such a scenario what will happen in that case foreigners they will think okay this is sri lanka rupee devalued like uh, depreciated too much now we have dollars we will pump our dollars because we can get more rupees now and we will buy the sale because rupees is rupees appreciating because now it's depreciated because there is there should be an end no so it's depreciated 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 now that this is establishing in 2210 level so what foreigners will do foreigners will pump the money we have to understand that point actually i i have utilized this uh, two times this scenario if rupee is going to appreciate what i will do i will encash my foreign currencies and i'll put into bank and i started to buy stocks so rupee will come to 10 to it will appreciate 205 i am gaining because you know why i am gaining it same way foreigners will gain more than me because i am i am one day i will live in sri lanka no for me i it doesn't matter but foreigners if they bring the huge fund and at the rate of 210 he will bring okay john will bring again we can say so what will happen so john will put the money there okay so at the rate of 210 then rupee div, rupee appreciated 200 so now what will happen if if john john can take more dollars back and same way the dividends even okay because companies pay more rupee sometimes the dividends no because rupees appreciates me he will get more some countries are there actually what i'm going to tell what i'm going to tell you some countries are there if you have uh, like those countries rupee rup, they are currencies overvalued sometimes uh, over values means uh, so where in valuation they are very high okay like is, is spain and german even they their currency have some values in that scenarios they will do more imports you know why currency value is more so they can buy more goods for us is different thing 
what foreigners will think now sri lanka rupee is depreciating and depreciating so it will good for our export market foreigners will think we can buy more goods from sri lanka but imagine is not in this situation na if if this this situation is not there it will our ex our go, our goods will be cheap to them and we can uh, we can fight with the competitors and we can catch the market so there are two scenarios but the thing is we have a debt trap that initially what we have taken debt from us dollars so once we get from the us dollars what will happen we have to repay the us dollars plus interest but if you don't have enough reserves in us dollars if you cannot earn enough us dollars when we want to pay back we are in trouble because yeah why our government is earning rupees only we will convert our rupees that time we we have to like suppose some debts we have taken 90 rupees one usd equal to 90 rupees now 194 in rupee our debt is double so how we can run as a country this is that's why we are in a debt trap and whatever we have utilized for the most of the projects some projects are white elephants you know why we haven't consider about payback and those things you know about payback payback means like if you if you are doing any investment how long we that investment will pay back by cash like you are buying a land land price is we can say 60 lakh okay you buy 3 acres coconut land normally 1 1 acre 70 trees are there so 3 acre means 70 to 3 200 ten trees so just every one month and two weeks you can uh, uh, you can uh, get coconut uh, maybe Uh, 10 coconuts so 2001 100 coconuts are there one, now one coconut is 50 so 50 means 100 5000 you will get so 100 5000 monthly okay we can say monthly or 10 months whatever monthly we can 100 5000 so yearly we will get just imagine 12 lakh just imagine 10 lakh we are getting yearly so within 5 years within 6 years no we will we will take our cash back so that means it's a good investment why within 6 years you will get your cash back so your payback is very attractive some countries uh, some companies they when they want to invest in some uh, two three type of business opportunities are there they they will calculate the payback so whatever the attractive payback is there they will go for that investment but countries like us payback is 60 70 90 100 years also sometimes that means no benefits but i am not telling governments should be always go for the profit oriented businesses it's not like that they have to go for the social welfare and these things like education or health those those cannot be but my concern is if you if you looking for the if you are getting high level of loans especially foreign currency debt there should be a plan no otherwise we will instruct now it is happening so once we have more debt what will happen international rating agencies are there like pitch pitch ratings like that so those rating companies what will they will say they will tell sri lanka government debt is very high and it is increasing even so in that case if you are giving loans to them there will be some issue there will be some issues and uh, maybe they may not pay back properly and it will take more time so what these go, people are doing like investor or whatever countries if they willing to give us loan so they will give 8% 10% very high interest is like like the gamay foli mudal ali bhai if you don't have asset no he will give 10% 15% also some some area i know that 20% see it is a high mass ekata foli mukada collateral without collateral they are giving what is collateral means what backup land or mortgage or whatever so this is the thing happening country like us also this is happening so this is really not good so just keep in mind if you buy any share just think about these things currency depreciation is number one factor because foreigners will basically foreigners will decide this factor if currency is appreciating they will come to the country if currency is depreciating they will not look at even that's why they are trying to exit because at least they can cover the loss and they can go 
even now the scenario is US dollar also not much appreciate in time this is US dollar also normal but still this time oil prices are less also but still our currency is going down this rupee is depreciating just imagine oil price is appreciating US dollar is appreciating that time what will happen to us this is tragedy you know in that case I am not telling for the negatives but just uh, add something uh, and subscribe my uh, channel because uh, it's, not, it's not because I am updating the videos and you will see it uh, this is uh, hands uh, click the bell icon also I am doing I actually what I plan to do because uh, so many we, I want to educate so many people uh, I'm not the best of course I have so many weaknesses I, I, I have I know that but whatever the knowledge I have because you know what the Sri Lanka countries like us there's a huge gap this finance literacy no finance literacy at all some guys they just come to the stock market this is they just buy the sales like uh, it's like uh, you think like uh, horse and uh, this is not a ro uh, horse uh, <laughs> horse race <laughs> don't buy like that just get some knowledge understand the things slowly one by one get a discipline okay get a discipline otherwise it's very difficult actually you can earn money you can win you can win the market there's nothing the thing is you have to find a good company you have to understand 90% uh, companies I am always objections because it's not good also sometimes I got some personal calls also don't tell like that because we are holding these companies and we have invested some of these companies and even we have done fixed deposits of these companies if you are telling then people will get panic so people are telling like that also but I I told no the first my first investment one king corporation I lost 5000 rupees that is my first investment because I thought that share price is before this much and now it's only this much and I can buy more quantities if if it is going one rupee I will get 5000 or 6000 blah blah that's the advice they give to me that's why I will catch these guys now these guys are not there even but what I'm telling you just get a knowledge try to educate others okay get finance literacy at least You should plan no, when you want to go Qatar, can you are in Colombo and when you want to go Candy tomorrow. So you will you will have a plan, no? Investment also like that. Diversify your investment. Because in my personal life, I bought copper, international market, certif as certificates. I bought gold as certificates. I bought oil also. I had 63 barrel oil one time, you know. Some on credit, that is a different case because I am test, I am trying, I am testing these things. But if I come to Sri Lanka, I may not do this because Central Bank always says don't do, don't do, don't do, do because this is illegal, that is illegal, blah blah. But just try to understand because you are important to society, and if you are getting profit, because basically retailers are following, you know, normally retailers are following me or whatever retailers are investing because basically network investors they will not come and look these channels and uh, what I believe 80 to 90 percent money wealth maybe five to eight percent Sri Lankans they hold how people get rich some people get rich because of the stock market and they know how to invest and how to play whatever I am not telling they are manipulators whatever because it is not good because they have some talent and we have respect also whatever but be ethically earn ethically because most of you are guys are doing jobs no so whatever uh, your earnings it should go as a basically day-to-day -day expenses and saving and something don't save because if you save is limited 10 or 12 percent but and inflation is 19 percent you lost 7 percent but invest something okay then multiple your money because money is not everything that is different case huh? but what I am telling if you are as an investor your objective should be like that later you give up everything that is different case and contribute something to society and okay so uh, again uh, I think I take more time uh, uh, 
uh, if you want any suggestion just comment uh, let's see okay and uh, i'm going to do ratio analysis also in future and uh, how to read the balances pnl and a to z i am going to teach because uh, i know that these type of channels no people will interest because in countries like us uh, so many entertainment videos will be made. but countries like europe you know how many people are following about investment channels but countries like us we know traditional deposits and these things only that's a tragedy but however we have to change this attitude my aim is to uh, make financial literacy to community as a country whatever i have earned whatever our government the, during my studies whatever our country did spend me i think uh, we have done enough more than that we have done for the, our society and country uh, like uh, because we earn here and we send our money means that's a, because that is number one income sri lanka gets whether they respect us or not that is different case no but we don't expect whatever we can do we have to do that's only that's our responsibility okay so thank you very much uh, uh, gentlemen uh, for watching me and uh, i am always just click the subscribe button so i i have two three videos still i am uploading it there's a very valuable videos i think you will get it first uh, subscribe button and click the bell icon so have a nice day take care